Today, it just got done raining here, so we thought we'd talk about some rain gauges. And one of the rain gauges we we're gonna talk about is our famous Easy Read rain gauge. They're available in a couple different colors. As you can see, you got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So you have your color choice. Thought we'd talk about a little bit how to take them out of the package, how to put them in the ground, mount them properly, make sure you have no problems with your rain gauge. So let's take a peek at them. So here's our rain gauge here. It's actually uh, 21 inches tall, and that's just with the tube, the funnel, and the plug. If you stake it in the ground, it'll be a little bit taller because you're gonna have the stake there as well. Uh, so as we look at it, you'll see there's bright markings. There's also a nice little orange float so you can read this thing from 50 feet away. Uh, plus, if, you, if, uh, if you're a little bit farther away, uh, you should be all right there too. Uh, so I thought we'd show you how to take it out of the package, how to uh, put it in your garden, uh, or on a post, anything like that. So let's do that real quick. First thing we'll do is we'll pull that off and we're gonna take the stake on the backside. We're just gonna pull it right off. So this comes out in its own little piece. You got the rain gauge part and the stake part here. There's a pin right on the, on the back side here on this hand card. We'll just pull that right out and it just leaves us right with the stake part and the hanger. There's also this little white pin right here. We're gonna take that guy out and make sure we don't puncture our fingers. Take that guy out and we won't need that anymore either. So now the stake is two pieces. So it will slide right out. This part will go in the ground and this part can go right back on the rain gauge. One thing when you put this in the rain gauge, this is gonna slide up into this receiver right here. And this little foot at the bottom needs to connect in on the bottom part here and we just give it a little push it'll kind of snap right back in and it'll be nice and stable there so what you'll see is when you look at it you should see the green part all the way along the back and that'll that'll be key for reading it from a distance so let's head over to the garden here real quick we'll show you how to throw it in the garden uh, we'll stake it in the ground uh, show you there's a couple tricks that will eliminate some problems that you might have so let's take a look at that let's walk over to our garden take a peek here Oh, and uh, as we're headed over here, let's take a look. We have a really cool spider. So let's take a peek at the spider here real quick. And you can take photos too. Okay. So if you can look in there, we have a nice black, yellow, and brown garden spider. Can you take a peek at that? Can you get that? There it is. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool spider. All right. So we got our spot in the garden, we're gonna put our rain gauge and we're gonna mount it with the stake. Uh, one thing we wanna make sure here is it's an unobstructed, uh, basically view to the sky. Uh, generally speaking, if you have a tree, you wanna keep it between eight and 10 feet away. Um, but for a garden, we have nothing really but a little fence and some plants. So um, as we take the stake, we're gonna put it in the ground. Obviously we're putting it in soft ground. Uh, so we sh we'll just be able to push it in and you will notice kind of this leaf pattern at the bottom. Uh, that'll be important that it gets all the way in the ground. So as we do that, we'll just basically shove it in the ground and it will be a little flexible to start, but we'll wanna make sure that that leaf goes all the way in the ground so it disappears. And we slide this guy. You'll see the back side of this will slide right in here. So we'll slide that right in there. And see this gap here? You don't want that gap, we gotta make this ground level and the reason that's important because if you don't it will swing too much and then it'll it won't catch all the wind so this you can actually just push this right down in the ground see if i can do it nice and slow be careful there and it's at ground level so now it won't move very much so that'll keep it if it's windy anything like that it'll keep that uh keep that from uh blowing around and missing some rain so you have a more accurate uh rain total there so one other thing you can do you can always take a hammer uh you can hammer this in the ground if you want. One thing you'll notice is that it's about a half inch from the bottom of the second slider to the ground. That's about where you want it so that we'll make sure that it won't uh, move around when it's windy. So, and of course you can take this guy um, when it's full of rain. If you wanna empty it, obviously you just unslide it, flip it around, water comes out, slide it back in. Pretty easy to do. Um, nice little rain gauge. One thing too we'll also look at is this tube 
is really cool. If you look at the bottom here, there's no O-ring. So if it freezes, you don't have to worry about uh, the rain gauge breaking. It will just pop out the bottom. If it freezes, you just shove it right back in and it will reseal itself. This plastic is super flexible, so you can bend it, all kinds of stuff. So even if it freezes, uh, it, it will not break. Um, eventually the sun will bake the plastic, um, but that's years down the road. Um, and this is also, if your weed eater string happens to hit it or something, it, it usually won't break there too, unless you're using uh, some really heavy duty weed eater string. So uh, very durable, uh, long lasting rain gauges. And by the way, it's made in the USA. So appreciate it. Hopefully this was educational for you and uh, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe. Thanks again.